Like, if there were a two percent chance that AI would end the world and a ninety-eight percent chance that it would create utopia, I think most people would press that button. I don't. I don't. I really don't. And I and honestly, I think the whole problem is the assumption that they would, and and that we don't even have to ask them. Right. The, the current, the default mindset is that consent's already been given. Two percent, the world's in, and that didn't happen. Hmm. Well, there are no governments so far trying to actually stop frontier AI development. There's no like mass public movements. What makes anyone in big tech think that they have a right to make life and death decisions for me and my family without our consent at all? Well, I think current AI progress is not necessarily a life or death decision yet. One day it will be. But, but they right don't know now, when. Kind of- like you, it, it could be tonight. Military personnel, right? Like the guys and the men and women who are in the bunkers with the nuclear weapons that whose job it is is to get the order and then execute launching nuclear weapons, right? They are researched incredibly well. They are given personality tests, background checks. They are monitored. Their communications are monitored. Like these people who are given the responsibility for millions of lives are not just some dude who used to do tech stuff and is now doing some different tech stuff. They're like highly qualified, considered people on an ongoing basis. And I just don't know what training has Sam Altman had to prepare him to make judgments that affect whether 8 billion other humans live or die, right? Like, like mm. they say that it, you know, I think they don't know I when st- it would be. They, they know that it could kill us all. They know that they keep working on it. Well, it's not like a simple equation where you have some kind of X percent probability of doom. And then if we pause it, that X percent goes down over time. And then once alignment research catches up with capabilities research, we can unpause it, right? So in terms of why do tech companies think that they have a right to make decisions that affect us? I mean, this is much more of like a complicated society question than an AI question. And in general, when developing new technologies, like it's their right to develop the technology because it doesn't necessarily impact everyone. And yeah, there are externalities in AGI development. That I think the government needs to focus on more that they haven't yet, but I don't necessarily think I, that just pausing it would be the right way to do that. No, but I wanna, I wanna like hone in on this concept of consent, right? Cause it's like, like what job interview would someone have to go through to be given the keys to a machine that can end all life? And what do we know about these people that have the keys to this machine? Well, there is no machine to end all life yet. And it's likely but, I mean, that there it, will be... It, 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 but everybody says it could happen... Right, everybody says it could happen tonight, tomorrow night, six months, six years. At some unknown point, surprise, it's here. So it's not like think... by saying it's in the future and we don't know when, that gives us safety because it's a surprise, right? Is, is there a little bit of a dynamic of, in this of some of the AI safety experts who are a little older and have been doing this for you know, 15, 20 years, running into guys who are on the younger side and Ellie Iser says this all the time and the only difference between him and someone like yourself is 20 years. Hmm. I don't think age is super well correlated with it. You know, uh, you have people who are, you know, old, like luminaries of AI, like Jan LeCun, what would the AI have to demonstrate to show that it's aligned? The GP4 didn't. I don't know, but just fundamentally on the principle of it, right, it's being released and then the safety assurance comes, not the other way around, which seems, you know, when you talk about five, six, seven, eight, which is the one that's going to kill everyone? If the process is release and then assess safety, that seems like a surefire way to get everybody killed. Well, you can't predict in advance the ways that it will help people and the ways that it will hurt people. They're like, there's only so much like thinking, brainstorming in a room that you can do without actually testing your predictions. The number that Hinton gave was more like 20%. And yeah, these PDoom numbers are a little silly, but you get the vibes, you know. Right, right. So, what do you think is an acceptable PDoom for for the world to continue making AI? What if for you personally, like we we talked about a ninety eight two? I think you you'd be fine with two. Yeah. Three, five. 
10? I mean, I, I, hmm, 